hello guys welcome to your own channel so in today's video we are going to learn about how to draw the structural reinforcement of slab so let us start so as you can see in the figure uh, there is the structural drawing and this is the structural reinforcement of slab so at first uh, there are two formulas that you need to learn by heart and if you're going to learn that then you can draw any slab i guess since this is the dead end so the formula for the top bar or the top portion or the bent up portion is 0 0.15 times L, 0 0.25 times L, 0 0.25 times L, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and 0 0.15 times L. And for the another portion, the formula is 0 0.15 times L at the dead end, 0 0.3 L, 0 0.3 L and 0 0.15 times L. And if there is continuation or cantilever, large cantilever portion, then you can just consider it as 0. 3L, it won't make that much of difference. So, so what I meant is that uh, this is the alternative bent up slab as I have said earlier. So, this reinforcement and this reinforcement has the spacing of about 6 inch, and again, after 6 inch, the same uh, continuation repeats. This is alternative bent up, this is straight, and again, here it will be alternative bent up, and again, in this 6 inch, after that, it will be straight portion so here we can see 0 0.15 times l which means 0 0.15 times center to center distance between these two columns is 10 feet 8 inch so 0 0.15 times 10 feet 8 inch is 1 feet 7 inch A and again in the bent up portion this it's 0 0.25 times l so 0 0.25 times 10 feet 8 inch is 3 feet 3 inch and 0 0.25 times 12 feet is 3 feet 6 inch similarly it's gonna continue you you just need to calculate like this one this one is for the bottom bar reinforcement and for the top portion as you can see this is the extra reinforcement bar since this bar will go straight this is bent up this bar will go straight so some extra reinforcement should be kept above this one which is uh, this one this so this is 0 0.15 times l 0 0.3 times l 0 0.3 times L, 0 0.15 times L. So let me show you uh, in my Facebook page. Uh, as you can see in this figure, uh, we have seen the placement of reinforcement at the site. So we can see uh, this is the bent alternative bent up bar. Uh, like in the structural drawing, this is bent up bar, and this this bar it is straight, and the distance between these two reinforcement is six inch. So this one is bent up. This one goes straight. This one is bent up and again alternately another one goes straight so since this bar is straight there is no uh, reinforcement at the top bar to counteract the bending moment or other shear forces so in order to do that we just need to put one extra reinforcement bar which is of size 0 0.15 times because there is a dead end so i just kept 0 0.15 times l and again bent up which is 0 0.15 times l and again this reinforcement is 0 0.15 times L. So we can see in other figure uh, where we can get a little bit clear about the things that I have mentioned is uh, guys this is my Facebook page so you can just like this page for more civil engineering related videos. So uh, yeah in this figure as we can see there is the continuation portion and there is dead end portion and where we can just use 0 0.15 times for the bent up and 0 0.15 times for the extra bar reinforcement. So in this portion, as you can see, uh, I have said 0 0.25 and 0 0.3 times L. So the alternative bent up bar, uh, the distance from here to the bent up, it's 0 0.25 times L for the bent up and again for the reinforcement that will go straight and the top extra reinforcement that you keep above it its length is gonna be 0 0.3L uh, so just remember this one is 0 0.25 and the extra reinforcement bar length should always be greater than the bent up bar so it's 0 0.3L 0 0.25 0 0.3L just remember this one and I think you can solve any of the structural drawing of slab as you can see uh, it is done likewise in this figure so anyway guys uh, i just uh, hope that you learned 
something from this uh, drawing because I have tried to show you in both uh, in both AutoCAD and in the real field. So guys, uh, if you feel like you have learned something, then please give this video a like and just don't forget to share the video. And uh, in the next video, I will just try to teach you about how to draw uh, the sectional reinforcement or the sectional view of slab. So guys, this is how we can draw the sectional view of the slab. So guys, uh, just subscribe this channel and share this video as much as you can. Anyway guys, stay safe and have a good time. Bye.